Hey guys, welcome to my TV on DVD collection in which I'm only showing DVDs and only live action, so no cartoons here. I made a cart I made an animated DVD video, so if you want to see that, you can check that out. But this is just a uh, live action TV on DVD. This is Third Rock from the Sun, season one, the original uh I think it's Anchor Bay. Original Anchor Bay release season two and season three. Have alias. Season 1, that's the price I paid for Season 2 right there, it's on the cover. Season 3 and Season 5. So I don't have Season 4, I'm going to need to get my hands on Season 4. That one I won from Listia actually. I didn't pay that price, I just won that on Listia. All American Girl, I used to watch this when it aired. I watched it um with my mom when that one aired in the early 90s this one was given to me by another youtuber cynical 44 uh youtube buddy of mine uh rest of development season one and season two i need season three i don't think i, I know netflix made a season four of Arrested development i don't think it made it to dvd this one I bought from uh, Retrovision Thrifts. This is Breaking Bad, the complete first season. Here is the complete series of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, season one, two, three, four, and five. And down here we have season six and season seven. I think they made, I, I think they actually made a season eight, but that's on uh, a motion comic DVD, I think. But this is the uh, complete live action series here of Buffy. This is uh, Charlie's Angel Season 1. Season 2. Oh, got it backwards. Season 2. That's the price I paid. I went to Best Buy and bought that there. I bought this one. The season 1 I remember buying from uh, uh, Columbia House. All, all three of, of these I bought the same day. From Best Buy because they had a sell. It was only ten bucks at the time. Season five was never released. Believe it or not, they made a a spinoff of uh, Charlie's Angels, where the genders were all reversed. Every gender was reversed on here, and I think it only lasted for one season. That was it. Here's uh the client list, which I bought for my girlfriend because it was on that woman's channel. And she don't like it, so now it's in my collection. The Dukes of Hazard Season 1. I want the complete series of Dukes of Hazard, but that's, for some reason, that's difficult for me to find. Here's Emergency, which is also backwards. Season 1 of Emergency, $2.99. I found that at, at um, Salvation Army Thrift Store. Everybody Loves Raymond Season 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Fall Guys, Season 1, Volume 1, and Season 1, Volume 2. Fringe, Season 1, 2, 3, and 5. There's only 5 seasons, so all I would need is Season 4. And Good Times, which I still have to open that one up and give that one a watch, Season 1. Season 2 and 3 is on DVD, but I think it's by either Mill Creek or Anchor Bay. I can't remember which. Then we go down to here. And down here we have the Honeymooners, which is one of my favorite television shows of all time. Just one of one of my favorites. Here we have Impractical Joker season one and two. I know they made season three on DVD. I love that show. I gotta get that season three. The only Incredible Hulk I have on, in my uh, collection, and that's only because my brother bought it for me. I mean, I do like the show, so. Anyways, next up, we got Invasion, another one I won from Listia. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. This one is a gift from a YouTube buddy of mine, Retrovision Thrifts. He actually gave me that one. This is Season 4. I think I keep saying Season 1. It's Season 4 for uh, It's Sunny, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Next up, I Love Lucy, Season 4. That's actually a Rite Aid purchase. Uh, the Joe Schmo Show, Season 1 and Season 
two, they need to release season three on DVD. I think they made season four, but I haven't even seen season four on TV. John Adams, I have to watch that one still. Here is one of my favorite shows of all time right here. Hence why I got the complete series. Season one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine of uh king of queens i watched every episode whenever i watched the first season of uh whenever i watched the first episode of the first season i go in order i watch every episode to the last episode of the last season and i've done that i've done that about six times already i mean i can do that easily i'm watching it right now on tv with with my uh girlfriend on on uh i can't remember what channel but I'm watching it with her right now. Late late nights. Late nights, I watch King of Queens on TV while eating pizza. Just about every night I'm doing that with my girlfriend. Next up, we got Laurel and Hardy. A nice classic, just like Honeymooners. Mama, Mama's Family, Season 1. A good early 80s show. I just picked this one up, too, from uh, Rite Aid. And this one is uh, The Man Show, Season 1. Still with the, uh, it's hard to find it with this for some reason. But that's Season 1, and here is Season 2. And now we go up here where we have The Man Show, Season 3. Again, with this, this one with the slipcover. Season 2 did not have a slipcover. And Season 4 with the uh, slipcover here. Men behaving badly, only the eight episodes. Even though I bought the complete series, this is what was given to me. Murcat Manor. Uh, I, I don't know. I like to get this this uh, complete series. It's only 22 minutes an episode. Or, you know, a half an hour with the uh, commercials. I like to get that. Here is Mortal Kombat Conquest. This was given to me by... Uh, Cynical44, I just mentioned him. He's the one that gave me the Angel DVD. He gave me that one as well. Mr. Bean, the complete, or the whole Bean, not the complete series, but the whole Bean uh, DVD. Ozzy and Harriet, Ozzy and Harriet. Ghost Adventures, the original doc documentary. This came out before the first season of uh, Ghost Adventures. It was this, and then the first season came out. Here is per Paranormal Cops. If you're into paranormal shows, I do suggest getting this. It only lasted one season, so this is every episode. And I think it never made it on TV because this was only a half an hour show. The episodes were only a half an hour instead of one hour. And paranormal shows should be one hour long, but this was only half an hour. Penn and Teller BS Season 1, Season 2, that one's backwards, and Season 3. And here we have Police Woman, uh, 70s Police Show, Season 1. That's an another one I like. I like to get Season 2. I know Season 2 is, has been released. Uh, if you guys like uh, 70s Police Shows, you guys might like this. Um, kind of like... Uh, if you like uh, Charlie's Angels, you might like this as well. Speaking of Cynical44, another YouTube buddy of mine, uh, he gave me these here, which is uh, Season 2, Discs 9 through 11 of Poltergeist the Legacy, uh, 6 through 8, and 1 through 4. I did that backwards, didn't I? 1 through 4, Discs 1 through 4, 5 through 8, 9 through 11. Next up, we have Punk. The only Punk episodes, I mean, the only Punk DVDs, season one and two. That's it. That's the only ones that was ever put on DVD. Saturday Night Live, the only Saturday Night Live one I have. I found that at Goodwill. I think I might have paid only, I forget how much that was, but about three bucks, I guess. Shark Week, Fins of Fury, Predator of the Deep, Restless Fury, Ocean of Fear. 
Now, now we get on to my Stargate uh, DVDs, my Stargate series. Um, this is the movie, but I have it in with my um, television shows of Stargate. And that's how much I like the show. It has the slip cover. Nice, shiny slip cover. Slightly embossed, not too much. Because the the reason why I have this with the um series, if you got if you guys watched the series, season one, uh the first episode picks up right after this movie ended. You you watch this movie first and then watch season one, and it's like one long show. One long episode. So down here we do got Stargate SG1 season one. Season 2, 3, 4, 5, and I just picked up 6 and 7. Here's my Star Trek, which is, uh, I got this one here, which is, the reason I have it is for the, uh, the, I think, is it the Cage episode I bought it for? Now I can't even remember. I think it was the Cage episode I bought it for. Here's the season one, the original season one that DVD that was released. Season two, the remastered version, and season three, the original. I bought the season two uh, original, and they gave me the uh, remastered instead. Here we have one of my girlfriend's favorite sitcoms. She also loves uh, King of Queens and uh, and uh, Honeymooners, but this is one of one of her favorites. Uh, that '70s show, season one. Season 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. I have the complete series of that 70s show. Here we have Transporter, the series, the first season. The second season, I do not have. I'll, I will get that eventually. And then down, down here is my last DVDs. So I have Two and a Half Men, season 1. Season two, and over here I do got season three, but um, I bought it on eBay. The guy said it says it's like new, but does it even work? So I gotta get a new copy of that season three. I don't have season four, so I need season three and four. I do have five, thanks to uh, Retrovision Thrift selling his some of his uh, finds on eBay. I have season five. I do, I do not have season six or seven. Or eight, but I do have season nine. This one, this one I found from uh, Dollar General for only two dollars ninety five cents. Season one of Up All Night. Um, that might be the only season that was released. The only season that aired actually of that. I only seen the first episode, but I didn't see anything else besides that. This one I used to watch when it was originally airing. I even had this uh, PS1 game, VIP. Very cheesy uh, television show starring Pamela Anderson. Here's the back of that. I enjoyed these cheesy, cheesy flicks like that. I mean, not flicks, uh, a show. The War at Home. Another good uh, sitcom. And Witchblade with the slipcover. And that is my complete live action TV show on DVD. I know it's not a large collection. But that is all I've got. And maybe in a year. I'll show a new update, see how large it would grow. Thanks for watching, guys.